Hey, what's up guys? Tim here. So I got a slightly different kind of video for you today and just wanted to do another sort of uh, video log and kind of behind the scenes video about what goes on when I do a tutorial. Uh, just for, you know, for those of you guys who are interested and whatnot. So what we're looking at here is basically my computer desk and where I shoot all my videos. And I've just kind of, I've just got to kind of set up uh, as I would when I'm doing my tutorials. Uh, I've got my, as you can see, I've got my uh, mat here, just some various paracord items. And um, this setup is actually slightly different from uh, how I've been shooting in the past. As uh, if you follow my Instagram, um, you'll know that I just recently built a kind of uh, camera mount, as you can see here. So, um, yeah, there's my computer. Got a couple lamps here. And as you can see, there's a window, obviously, right here. Um, so I get a lot of good light if I'm shooting uh, during the day. And yeah, computer desk, my mouse, and all that. And that's pretty much it. I've got a separate lamp here as well for additional lighting when I need it. So um, I guess the main point of this video is to talk about this kind of um, articulated mount here. So before when I would shoot, uh, I would just use a tripod and I would have it set up like right here in front of my desk and that was really awkward because you know as a tripod goes you've got two legs you know one would go here one would go here and one would you know be pointing directly at me so I'd be kind of you know sitting in front of that tripod with that kind of third um, tripod leg kind of you know straddling I'm kind of straddling it right so it's really awkward and the camera's like uh, you know right in front of me I always got to kind of work around the tripod but uh, I found this tutorial from uh, Make uh, the YouTube channel, and um, I will link it uh, down below the exact tutorial I used in case uh, any of you guys are interested. And you basically take a one of these articulated lamps, these kind of uh, you know desk lamps, or I think they also call them work lamps or architect lamps, and uh, you just cut a few pieces of wood for it. I'm gonna try to keep everything in focus. Also, I'm doing this you know handheld. I don't have any sort of steady cam, so I hope you don't mind the uh, slightly shaky camera. Anyways, um, you just take one of these lamps. I got this actually from Ikea. It's only $10, which is awesome. And as you can see here, it clamps to the corner of your desk. I'll do my best to keep everything in focus. And so it's clamped to the desk, and then we come to here. And obviously right here is where um, normally the uh, lamp part would be attached. So if you you'll probably go check the tutorial tutorial out after this, but you know you take that part off, um, you pull out all the wires, and then you just simply cut like two pieces of wood, and this is like kind of like sort of like a T shape or a square with a kind of peg on it that goes in between there. There's another screw going in, sorry, this way, so that allows you to go up and down, and this one allows you to adjust the angle like this, and um, and then also you add one screw here. That's for the part that uh, screws into the bottom of my camera. And then you've got your camera mounted. Basically, you know, if I, I'm holding my camera right now, but if I were to mount it onto here, then I get my, you know, usual camera angle, right? And what's great about this is I now can sit right up to my desk, you know, right here. I don't have to have that awkward tripod in front of me, which is awesome, right? And also, um, because this is articulated, as you can see, um, I'm basically free to move the camera around and get any angle that I need. You know, I can get it, I can do overhead shots, I can get like right up close in there, or I can move it back, I can, uh, yeah, I don't have to worry about, you know, focusing issues. Um, for some reason, the camera I'm using, I'm using in uh, Sony Cybershot RX100, it's the older one, it's the first gen, and um, it had some issues focusing from far away, like if I tried to zoom in, and then focus, um, it wouldn't do it. So now it's not an issue because I can actually just physically move the camera, you know, back and forth as cl as much as I need, and then focus it properly. Okay. Um, yeah. And then I've got my mat, as you can see, and all, all the other stuff I need is, you know, just the paracord and the tools. And that's about it. So as you can see, it's pretty low tech, actually. You know, nothing too crazy. Um, but you know, such as the methods of a you know, small time YouTuber, right? So that's about it. Just wanted to share this with you guys. I hope you find it interesting. Um, this is just one step and one part of the tutorial making. 
that happens behind the scenes. And um, all the other stuff is obviously done, uh, you know, through editing and all that. But uh, I probably won't have to do a video about that. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video log and kind of behind the scenes look. Um, yeah, again, this is my camera setup. Got my Volpo in the back there. Uh, Pip boy. <laughs> so um, that's about it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. All right. So if you like videos like this and sort of more uh, behind the scenes stuff, you enjoyed this, let me know, and uh, maybe I'll do some more. Figure out what else I can do. Um, you know, videos about in terms of behind the scenes stuff, and uh, that's about it. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video. All right. Bye.